Visiting farmers whose cattle have undergone artificial insemination, they are reporting successful pregnancies. A total of 25 farmers' cattle have undergone artificial insemination as part of the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Forestry and Marine Resources program. Among them is Lennox McLeod. Studies have shown that um, are getting a litter from this breed within a year, a year and a half, you could get up to 1,500 pounds of um, beef. So this is the way to go. This is the way to go. I expect to be um, to see massive growth. And to be honest, I really want a bull to keep the... Um, so if Frankie M never come back, at least I have the breed. Yeah, I'm very happy. For Bertrand Holder, the AI program has streamlined the breeding process for him, making it more convenient. Mixing the breed and changing it around would be a very nice thing for us. One, we'll get bigger cattle. Two, we'll get more weight in, a le in less time. So that is a real plus for me as, a, as an animal miner. I think it, it will make a big difference because once you get bigger cattle with more weight, that means more money for me. And maybe the thing about him, he might not keep a bull like two, three years again to reach like seven, eight hundred pounds. He might keep a bull a year, year and a half, and you could get almost eleven hundred pounds. So that would be real that would be real nice. Brothers Kimron and Jamie McDonald are currently breeding four of their cattle for the first time since acquiring them. First time so I'm just waiting for the results to see and then I will tell you more about the production and how it's looking and everything. So if it's a bull and I look for more meat, you know, the weight will be different, you know, a different kind of, you know, the muscles, the lean, different, you know, the meat now, overall easier because you know a bull, if you have one female and you have, and you do a bull, you have to such a girl a bull and if a man do a bull, it already, and can, even, even, even if the bull jump, sometimes it might not even get you. So the program overall is a success. Chief Veterinary and Livestock Officer Dr. Kimon Cummins explained the insemination process, highlighting the positive outcomes achieved through this forward-thinking agricultural approach. Part of the program, we were doing what you call a estrus synchronization. So the normal reproductive cycle of the cattle is 21 days. And um, what we would have done is short cycle, get up to 10 days. Um, so we start day 0, 7 and 10 and at day 10 we would inseminate. Um, we have brought in about 1100 straws, right? And um, the criteria for each farmer was, you know, um, not, you know, out of the norm um, criteria. Um, it's just basically the farmers are registered, they're able to tend to the animals. And um, from the ministry end, we you know, um, we wanted to ensure that they, we had that commitment from the farmers that they were willing to take care of the animals and we were able to go ahead and provide the services to them. The artificial insemination program forms an integral part of the Ministry of Agriculture's Food Security Enhancement Project, initiated in October 2023. As part of the initiative, 1,100 semen straws were sourced from Red Dock Farms in the United States, introducing a new breed of cattle, the Santa Gertrudis, to improve the island's breeding stock and elevate the overall quality of cattle. Christina John, GBN News.